Conversation threading is a great topic when it comes to opening new conversations with someone, meeting someone new, or talking to strangers. Let's get into it. What do I mean by conversation threading? Well, when it comes to talking to someone new, say you're talking to a stranger at the airport, for example, you could leave little threads and see if they pull on any of the threads. So you could leave a little thread about what you do for work or maybe about a hobby or a peculiar interest that you have that you are passionate about talking about. See if the person pulls on that thread. You might notice if you're talking to someone who's particularly well-versed socially, they might leave little threads for you to pull on and see if you pull on threads that they're happy to talk about. And this is something where you can keep a conversation going for hours if you just pay a bit more attention. That's one of the core tenets of this channel, paying attention, and the other one is having integrity. So, in terms of paying attention, see if the other person is leaving little threads for you to pull on. Pull on those threads, maybe you have some mutual interests. You won't know unless you leave some threads and be on the lookout to see if they leave any for you. When it comes down to it, social muscles are muscles. So either you work on the muscles or the muscles atrophy. When it comes to engineers and technical people, I would go even further and say, they might not even have social muscles. So you don't even have muscles to atrophy. They're just not even there because you never grew them because you never focused on it. You never pay attention to these things. Well, there's no better time to start being more social than right now. So you can start raising your social intelligence literally right now by paying better attention. Once you're aware of things, then you can learn how to influence situations better. But you have to have the awareness first. How good are your social muscles? You should drop me a comment down below about the situation that really opened your eyes to wanting to care about socializing. I know I, for one, had an acute situation at work where I realized that there was nobody coming to save me and I need to save myself. So there was a particular instant where it's, it was like a light switch where it's like, I really need to care about this. There's, there's people in the office that have been there for 45 years and this is basically it. And I need to care about this or it just won't get done. So do you want to go better yourself? Learn how to socialize more to get bigger raises and faster promotions? Well, you should probably pay more attention to your conversation threading. To start working on conversation threading, a place in public would be perfect where you have someone new you can go meet and you can drop little threads and see if they pull on any of the threads. Now, don't feel bad if they don't pull on the thread that you wanted them to. You're offering them multiple options here. So you're not putting them in a corner. You're not asking them yes, no questions. You're bringing up several topics and seeing which one they pull on. So which thread they pull on. Now, this person might be doing the same for you. So if you can find some mutual interests, maybe you can have a good conversation about something for a while. Maybe you're both into rock climbing, for example. Perfect. You can probably talk about rock climbing for ages. So, oh, wow, you have the same interest. Perfect. Now, how would you have known that? Because of the conversation threading. Because you leave all these little threads open and see which one they pull on. So to work on your social muscles, all it takes is putting yourself out there a bit. So go work on those socializing muscles and keep going with my social intelligence playlist up here. Or if you're ready to get back to technical topics, keep going with the IQ playlist down here. Or you could keep doing exactly what you've been doing and getting exactly the same results.